Hey guys, Eli Burton here again, and I am here to put this FSD Beta 9 to what I consider the ultimate test. So I'm starting here in this residential neighborhood. We're gonna come out, it's gonna have to take a right. We're gonna go through train tracks. We're gonna go across multiple, inter we're gonna go across multiple intersections. There's gonna be multiple left turns and two roundabouts. So this is gonna be a really exciting test. I tested FSD version eight on this. I had a video on this from quite a while ago that I talked about going from door to store. I did that from right here. So we're gonna navigate from this neighborhood to the Tesla store. The Rockland Tesla store is actually a couple miles from here and we're gonna do the whole route. Uh, we're gonna let it record the whole time and let's see if we have any, have any interventions. It's late guys, you got to forgive me. It's like 1.40 in the morning. So sorry about slipping on some of my words. All right, here we go. Adjusting my autopilot settings here to not do 10 miles an hour over the speed limit. <laughs> it's kind of annoying while trying to test FSD beta. Okay, it's taking it cautiously, but it did it on its own. Problem there with the train tracks? Yeah, that was a breeze. All right, so I intervened here because it's trying to take a left turn instead of going through the roundabouts. So I'm gonna drive it through this intersection and turn it back on. It's actually doing it, it's doing a fine thing. It's actually taking a faster route. I didn't realize when we took off that it was gonna skip the roundabout, so. It'll correct the nav here in a second. All right, there we go. Just adjusting the speed. Okay, stopping for traffic control in 200 feet. All right, here's the test. Hey, that was pretty good. All right, we got a second roundabout coming up here, another 300 feet. It's coming up very cautiously. No problem, stayed in the lane lines, did it at a pretty decent speed. This is pretty impressive. So I have a funny story for you guys. First time we did this test, uh, we did a test of autopilot before FSD beta because me and Dan from What's Inside were doing a baseline video of what it was like before FSD beta and then what it was like with and on just the old Navigate on autopilot when we conducted the test on that roundabout, the car did such a bad job that police thought that there was a drunk driver, but they mistaked, they mistook which vehicle it was and they pulled over the guy that was right behind us. <laughs> uh, no such case with FSD beta, it handled that really well. slow here because the semi truck is doing something weird. All right, I'm going to raise the speed here. Actually, the speed limit says, oh, there we go. Now it says 40. Perfect. So the final test coming up on this road here is we're going to be pulling into the Tesla store here in 0.7 miles. And that's always a tricky situation because you go from a relatively understandable situation to an ambiguous one that is the parking lot. So I'm excited to see how well it handles this. 
God, these visualizations look beautiful though, don't they? We're going to be up here soon. It's weird driving the speed limit. <laughs> it's not very ludicrous. Okay, so I just noticed, look at the navigation. I just realized it doesn't have, the navigation doesn't actually show it driving in. So it's just gonna stop right here at the point. Let me try, do another test here. See if I can get it to like, wanna actually drive in if I navigate it there. Okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. That'll work. Oh man, let's try this out. <laughs> you see what it's going to have to do here? It's going to have to flip the U-turn. Oh my God. Is it going to take the U-turn? No, I disabled it. try and route it this way. All right, we're going to route through this parking lot. This is cool. Handle that, no problem. God, the views of this is incredible. Like this new Tesla Vision, look, I was skeptical uh, because, you know, like radar just adds another layer of depth of sensor. And I mean, Elon's proved many times that he knows what he's doing. It's just, it's it just sounded so opposite of what you would expect of running a self full self-driving car that, you know, Tesla's already decided they're not gonna do radar and they're not gonna do, uh, or not gonna do LiDAR. Now they're not gonna do radar. That just seems crazy, but I mean, it seems like it's not only working, but this is working better than what it was before. All right, left turn to the intersection. This is a pretty wide intersection here. Yeah, no problem. That was a really smooth merge. turn super smooth didn't drift the lane at all so this will be fun we're going to give it another chance at turning into the store and this time it's going to be more difficult because when we were coming if it had navigated that way it was going to be making a right turn into the parking lot instead this time it's going to be making a unprotected left so interested to see how it does. I love seeing the Tesla superchargers lit up, lit up at night. It makes me so happy every time. It's like, ah, uh, home. All right, here we go. Cautiously here. Nicely done, guys. 
Look at that. I'm right here at the Tesla store. Look, overall, I gotta say, this this is cool. It just passed my test. I just ran it through uh, two different roundabouts. I'm gonna run it through again on the way back out of here, but uh, yeah, this, this is a good build. Uh, I see noticeable improvements from the last reversion we had in 8.3, and I'm excited to do more tests. Hey, if there's something in particular you guys want me to test, uh, leave a comment on this video, and I'll be happy to test it out for you tomorrow. Have a good night, guys.